Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is the second attempt at using sprue goo. In my first attempt, I used Play-Doh as a molding material for the sprue goo. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link up here. Long story short, Play-Doh does not work as a molding material. After doing more research on YouTube, I saw a lot of people using blue stuff. I don't know where to get that here in Japan. But I did see one video that mentioned a material called Oyu Maru. And I just happened to have seen some of that the day before when I was at the dollar shop. Side note, Japanese dollar shop Daiso is an amazing store. If you ever come to Japan, find a Daiso and go there. So I found some Oyumaru at the Hyakuen shop called Daiso. Apparently you just warm this stuff up in hot water for about three minutes and then you can make a mold. Again, the acetone for melting Warhammer sprues works really great. I'm going to try these melted down sprues in an Oyumaru mold. According to the instructions, I'm supposed to take this out, pat it dry, and then mangle it up to the shape I want. Fail. Water wasn't hot enough. I reboiled my water. Ooh, that's much better. Okay, get it to about the size I need it to be. Make a shield. Push this in there really good. Because I want to make this double sided, I'm going to make a place here. So I've got some spots to line it up. You really got to have piping hot water. I had the original one in ice water, so it shouldn't get affected by the heat. I'm jamming this in the best that I can. Okay, those are together. Take this out of the ice water. Pat it dry. Pat. Let's try to separate these. What I've read online and seen on YouTube it says that after you make the first one, you make the second half, and then you take the first half, you warm it back up, and you put it back on, and you really push down it. And that's how you get good details with this OU Madre stuff. You can see there's some detail in there, but it's not super. So I'm gonna warm this back up, and then try again. Jam it down on real firm so you get all those nice details. I jam these two things together so well, it's kind of hard to get apart. There's a lot of the detail on the shields showing up. Alright. Okay, so here's the moment I've been waiting for. Try out this sprue goo. So what I've done is I took little gumdrop size wads of this stuff, kind of rolled up my finger in so it wasn't all stringy, and put one on each spot where I wanted a shield. So I've got a couple pieces of wood, put that there, put that there, and I've got a quick clamp. I'm gonna clamp it down, just let that sit for 24 hours. And we'll come back to it then. There's some squeeze out, and it's pretty hard. So I think it's safe to try to open it up. The moment of truth. The 
so it was still gooey on the inside. Should have waited longer. So this one shield has detail. So I'll try this again and let it sit for 48, maybe even 72 hours. I've let the sprue material dry in the Oyumaru for 72 hours. The sprue stuff on the outside is all hard. It falls off. I'm going to open this up and I hope it works. Let's test. It worked! And they've even got details! So there's good detail here on the skull. There's good detail over here on the handle. This one's not perfect, but it'll be okay. Oop. It was still soft. Okay, so three days in the mold and it came apart okay. But when I tried to pull this one out, it bent. So they must need some air drying. So I'm gonna let them dry for another 24 hours. But I got quite a bit of detail. Just a little bit of flash, I can clean that up. Let me clean up the edges and I'll show you what we got. We've got one, two, three, four shields that came out usable. There's quite a bit of detail in all of them, although there are some misses. And I got one, two that came out uh, with air pockets in them. So they're empty, they're kind of hollow on the inside. And so I'm not gonna use these uh, on my miniatures that I want to display, but I might use them for basing. Just put them on the ground like broken shields. And I think that would look really cool. I've got an old corn blood reaver miniature. I'm gonna give him one of these shields. He used to have a knife in this hand. I've chopped that off. I'm just gonna put a little devil glue on here. And now we've got a Marauder. So with a new shield on the character, I think he looks pretty good. Go get him, boy. I hope everyone liked this video and found some use out of it. In conclusion, this Oyumaru makes good molds with pretty good detail. I'm not sure that using it with the sprue goo is the best way to do it. Using some other sort of molding clay might actually work better, but I have the sprues, so I wanted to try to use them. So if you got access to this stuff, just a couple dollars and some extra sprues laying around, why don't you give it a shot? Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you liked this video. If you did, why don't you hit that like and the subscribe button down below as that really helps me out. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to put those down below. I always read them and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching. See you next time.